Dear students, welcome back into my another lecture. Here I will discuss another important numerical as far as applied physics is concerned for the CSE stream students. So I have taken the question from Gen Feb paper 2023. So in the previous lecture I have discussed the question from makeup paper. Okay, now I'm at December 2023. So let us solve this particular question. So you may you might have gone through uh, the important derivation that is numerical aperture. Okay, so that on that formula only we have to use in the numericals over here. Okay, so the question is the angle of acceptance. Uh, of an optical fiber is 30 degree when kept in air find the angle of acceptance when it is in a medium of a refractive index 1.33 okay so first of all write down the solution and write down the given data what is given angle of acceptance is given is 30 degree okay when kept in air so medium is air here okay so you know already for the air refractive index index is always one okay so that is denoted by n naught refractive index of air that is one over here right next is find the angle of acceptance when it is in a medium of refractive index 1.33 so we have to calculate angle of acceptance when it is in medium uh, when it is in another medium suppose i will take here that is refractive index n let me denote it by n naught dash okay so as already for air refractive index is one that is denoted by n naught so n naught dash i am representing here refractive index for another medium which is given as 1.33 what we have to calculate find the angle of acceptance that means let me call it theta naught dash we have to calculate so this much is the given data right now in order to write down the solution you know already uh, there is a formula sine of theta naught as i earlier mentioned it is a uh, the numerical aperture formula n1 square minus n2 square divided by n naught dash oh sorry n naught this is for year if i am talking about the year then you have to take refractive index as n naught as here mentioned and for another medium you have to take n naught dash okay hope you are getting my point then i can write down here sine of theta naught how much is the theta naught that is 30 degree which is equal to under root of n1 it is not given in the problem these are the different uh, refractive indices indices so it is not given n naught is given here one okay so in order to solve it uh, you will get sine of 30 is equal to 0 0.5 let me cross check it okay so see here it is your sine 30 okay sine 30 is equal to 1 upon 2 that is 0 0.5 which is equal to under root of n1 square minus n2 square let me call this particular equation as one okay now another medium if i will take so the equation will be so for another medium for another medium okay so equation will be sine of theta theta dot dash which is equal to under root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n naught dash only difference is i'm taking theta naught dash uh, and n naught dash for another medium okay rest of the formula will be same so sine of theta naught dash which is equal to under root of n1 square minus n2 square divided by n naught dash how much is n naught dash that is refractive index of this another medium is 1.33 so i can write down 1.33 multiplied by sine theta dot dash 1.33 multiplied by sine of theta dot dash is equal to under root of n1 square minus n2 square this i will call here second equation okay if you compare this first and second equation you can observe right hand sides are equal n1 square minus n2 square under root under root of n1 square minus n2 square so when in the two equations right hand sides are equal so left hand side sides will be always equal so i can write down here from equation one and two right hand sides are equal therefore uh, left hand sides will also be equal so 0 0.5 is equal to this much so 0 0.5 is equal to 1.33 sine of theta dot dash hope you are getting my point so this 1.33 is in multiplication if i just uh, shift it on the left hand side it will become 0 0.5 upon 1.33 which is equal to sine of theta dot dash okay hope you are following now i can write down here only theta dot dash is equal to if i shift sine to the left hand side it will become sine inverse so sine inverse of 0 0.5 upon 1.33 okay so let me calculate it in the calci now i will show you so this is your shift sine inverse of how much 0 0.5 upon 1.33 
bracket close which is equal to 22.08 so simply you can take down theta dot dash is equal to 22 degree is the angle of acceptance okay for the another medium rest of the year okay so that was the question find the angle of acceptance when it is in medium of refractive index uh, 1.33 so refract refract index was given we were supposed to calculate the angle of acceptance which we have calculated here by simulating these equations over here i hope uh, you understood this uh, numerical very well so practice varieties of problems on the same concept so that you will get clarity on the numerical aperture topic over there okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations and thanks for watching my video and make sure you will share this video to all your friends uh, who actually need it thank you